Hey guys, so I want to ask you something. Um, what would a good father do if his child was disobedient? Would he discipline the child or would he disown the child? I'd say that he disciplined the child and I think you would too. I mean, what kind of father would just throw his kid away because he made a mistake or he rebelled a little bit. God's kids don't go to hell, they are chastened. This is what the Bible says, and um, I fear the Lord, knowing that he can cause hell on earth for me if I go off and rebel against him. And he has, alright? Okay, Hebrews 12, 6-7 says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. All right, and then Proverbs 3.12 says, For whom the Lord loveth, he corrected, even as a father, the son, in whom he delighted. So, if you're getting punished for your sins, there's a good chance that you belong to the Lord. And this explains why bad people have wonderful lives. You know, they never have anything go wrong. Everything's going great for them. They're, you know, living in this nice house, nice car, you know. They don't belong to God. So when they go off and live in sin and do horrible things to people, he's not going to correct them, you know, because he's not their father. They're not his kids. Um, and I'm a good example of this. When I was, um, well, first of all, I believed when I was a child. I put my trust in Jesus, and I actually changed quite a bit as a kid. I was a huge brat before I found the Lord as a kid. He worked on me, and um, I ended up, you know, rebelling a lot in high school and after high school. And I had the most dramatic, crazy, horrible life. I mean, it was just so bad. I mean, it, it got to the point where I would laugh because of the things that would happen to me. They were so bizarre. And it's like, obviously God was trying to get my attention. He was allowing um, the enemy to mess with me to get me back on track and it worked because I ended up being like a raging alcoholic and I had no choice but to go back to God so this is basically what happens when you go into sin it gives the enemy authority because he is constantly trying to find a reason to attack you so he goes to the Lord and asks for permission you know and according to God's law he has the right to come mess with you and God allows this to get you back on track and keep you uh, on the path of righteousness. And it's so true. You can see it in everybody's lives. Like, if, the, if a believer is sinning, <laughs> you'll notice that things will start going wrong. And it's not a coincidence. It's not. Um, and since I have been trying really hard to, like, please the Lord and not live like a crazy person... My life has, like, calmed down a lot. I'm living more peacefully. I found the love of my life. He is the most amazing man I've ever known. Um, we're perfect for each other. Everything is just falling into place. Especially the more I seek God's will in my life. When you are disobedient, not only do you, like, reap what you sow on earth, on this earth, but you will lose rewards in heaven. You will lose eternal rewards. It's like going to the fair with money to get in, but that's it. Like, you don't get to have any fun while you're in there. You don't get to ride any rides. You don't get to play any games. You don't get to eat any good food. You know, that's basically what these people will have to face when they die. Like, they'll be able to get into the kingdom, but they won't inherit it. They won't own those things. You know what I mean? So, that's not fun. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? It's like someone dangling a piece of juicy steak in front of a hungry dog forever. So, God's grace is sufficient and His grace is just because Jesus justified His grace. Um, he has the right now to let in somebody who lived a sinful life, but He does not have to reward them. Okay? Um, so... I just want you guys to rest in the Lord and know that you are sealed um, with the Holy Spirit of promise 
the moment you believe and you can rest in him and it's a beautiful thing. All right. I love you guys. God bless.